Yeah, because it's a wave seven. I better go to the thing. Let's go find it. Yeah, because she's got three weapons. Well, yeah, she does have three weapons. A machete, a handgun, and a machine gun. Yo, this is my save from this. I don't know what the hell that was. I couldn't load my game. Some wave seven. I'll tell you, this game gets really hard. The bigger the waves. I don't know if you ever get grenades. She's got grenades on her hip, but I don't see any grenades in here. Yep, see there is stuff unlocked in here. This is my game from before. This is my game for. I don't know what that was. For some reason, it wasn't loading my game. I don't know, you can tell this game is a little budget, but I didn't think it would mess up the game save. Shotgun now. Like I said, you can tell this game is low budget. It's like I said, it's not bad. You basically just run around when zombies are attacking you. I mean, the chick doesn't even blink. Her eyes don't blink. That's how you know they could have put a little more into this game. It's not that bad. Like I said, you just run around fighting zombies constantly. And they do get harder the higher the waves. I recommend a shit ton of ammo because you can put you can put like uh, things on the ground, like traps, but they are expensive. I haven't even used a shotgun yet. Unless... Like I said, it's not bad. The waves aren't bad. There's like a shit ton of zombies. I'll try this wave, see if I get killed. I don't have anything to build. I could see why a lot of people wouldn't buy this. The only reason I bought it is because it was like dirt cheap. And I love zombie killing games. Like I said, it's like dirt cheap. The chick wouldn't look so bad if she actually blinked. She don't blink. Like whoever designed this game, she don't blink. Like you basically just stare at her butt all the time you're playing on her. <laughs> okay, let's see, I'll start the next wave. See how good the shotgun works. The waves do get harder as you go on. Okay. That's cool, she's reloading it just like you reload it. Oh god. The way she runs though is literally. They do drop stuff. Like that's a halo. You pick it up and you're like, oh, you're like a angel, basically. Oh, I'm gonna 
Don't get me. Watch it, fucker. Ah. <laughs> There's a shit ton of them chasing me. Mother! Oh yeah, your health does regenerate. You're basically, I guess you're like Wolverine. <laughs> you have regeneration powers, I guess. Now the game's actually working though, because this is where I was. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the sound shoot. <laughs> Funny. I gotta be careful with the shotgun because I don't have much ammo for the shotgun. I guess some zombies blow up. I guess. I don't know. There's some of them, like, something exploded, I'll tell you that. There's a shit ton of zombies. I swear one of them exploded. <laughs> he took a swing at me and missed. <laughs> like you got the bad aim there, zombie. Resident Evil was more like this though, with endless zombies. Yeah, it'd be funny. Who's <laughs> that fucking guy who was playing? I don't know what the hell that was. The one actually blew up on me. I guess. It was weird. I didn't even know they could do that. Restart. That was odd. Yeah, one of them actually blew up. And it looked like they blew up away from me, but I got hit by it. So it was weird. I wouldn't recommend getting hit by the zombies, the ones that explode. No, it's touched on wave one if you die? Is that what happens if you die? You have to start all over again? Seriously? If you die, you have to start all over again? That blows. I didn't know that because I never died before. I 
that kind of sucks. I mean, I technically didn't die back there because the zombie didn't kill me. I got exploded by one of the ones that was running at me that I blew up. I shot. Technically, it didn't actually kill me. I feel like throwing some dynamite and you end up running into it because that's pretty much what happened. I killed the zombie and he blew up away from me and it still killed me. It kind of sucks. You die, you end up starting all over again. And they take all your stuff too. Guess you better make sure you don't die. Not like you could help it. You got all those dudes chasing you. That kind of blew. Here I am thinking, you know, the game's messed up. No, it's not messed up. If you die, they take everything. Literally, they take everything. Because I died one time. And I lost everything. Like, I lost all my guns. All my ammo, all my money, everything. They pretty much take everything if you die. That's not cool, man. Like, I mean, what fucking game is like that? Like, any game I've ever played, none of them are like that. I mean, they took my health, even. Because I don't even have the same health I had before. It's like you're starting the game all over again. It's like you have one life in this game. I like I can stop things that explode. Because that's pretty much what happened. The thing exploded. Yeah, if you die, you lose everything. That's not cool. I don't know if I like that idea. I wish I knew about that before I bought the damn game. <laughs> if you die, you lose everything, even once. Oh, I have nothing unlocked, but what I just paid for. I mean, like it's my fault the zombie exploded. I, mean, I can't do nothing about that. when you die you start all over again I don't like that and there was nothing I could do I killed the dude that killed me I killed them all what killed me was somebody ex one of them exploded and he wasn't even near me yeah I was running away from them that kind of blows man <laughs> Here I am thinking I got a game that's actually fun, you know, wave after wave after zombies. Which is the way it is, but if you die once, they make you start all over again. Which means everything you've unlocked, all the stuff you've done, progress and everything, is reset. I mean, there's no way you'd be able to beat this. Because if you get blown up once, you're dead. That's pretty much what happened to me. And you can't see behind you in this game. That's probably what happened. One of the ones that walks behind me got me. Yeah, because they do come from all angles. That kind of blows. I was up to like wave 7. A shit ton of stuff on that too. stamina I had. Well, you die, they take everything. Literally everything. Well, 
that kind of blows. I'd like to know how you'd prevent from getting blown up. See, I didn't know that it did that. I didn't know if you die, you start all over again. I didn't know that. So I'll focus on health then. Just health. Everything else I'll do later. It should tell you that. It might have told me that, but I didn't read this shit at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> like I said, it might have told me that. I love how they like trip over each other. They really want this chick, man. She's like the only source of food, I guess. It's obvious. That kind of blows, man. That if you die, you have to start all over again. I don't like that. This time, I'm gonna be upgrading nothing but health. Just health. Until I get the health all the way upgraded, then I'll go to something else. I'm trying to find the damn room. It's over here. I mean, that sucks. I can truly say that sucks. See, I like zombie games, and I like the fact there was wave after wave of zombies. That's cool, but I didn't know if you died, everything reset. That kind of blows. Like, everything resets. Even your weapons reset. I mean, I was at wave 7, and now I'm like pretty much at the beginning of the game. I guess you need more than one skill point. That sucks. Oh, get that one right. I mean, I was at wave 7, I had a bunch of stuff unlocked. I even had some guns upgraded, like I'm doing right now. I lost everything because I died once. One time. Um, bleh, I don't even have enough money to even like, buy anything, pretty much. I killed all those zombies. Well, well you can tell, like I said, this game's low budget because the chick doesn't even blink. Like, her eyes don't even move. Like I said, the endless wave of zombies is fun, but I didn't know if you died, you had to start all over again. That kind of blows. Like you literally have to start like pretty much at the beginning of the game if you die once. And I got killed by some exploding zombie. It's like you can control that. Well, here we go. And you can't really see behind you in this game. So if you get like an exploding zombie behind you, I'm almost out of ammo on this gun already. You're pretty much gonna die. I might have to start shooting from the hip. Oh, well, you don't really zoom in. Even if you shoot from the... Miss me, zombie. Oh, she's just casually running. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. They're not gonna eat me or anything. Whoop. Game kinda sucks. Lame. And if he had grenades, it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, she's got grenades on the side of her hip, but can't use them.
doesn't get hard to get up above wave 7. Then you might actually die there. That's what happened to me. I didn't know that. It's like I said, Resident Evil, this is not. It wouldn't be so bad. When you die, you'd have to start all over again. Most games just punish you, you know, with, you know. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo on this gun. Pretty much like infinite health in this game. As long as you don't get hit, your health regenerates. You're like Wolverine, basically. As long as you, like I said, don't get hit. The only problem, what happened with me when I was at like wave eight, I think, I got blown up by an exploder, so basically it's just instant death. Keep an eye on your health, you won't die. But the problem is, if things blow up, you pretty much just die. Sometimes they drop health and ammo, but not too often. Like I said, she pretty much heals herself. I have to sh I have to do this because I have no ammo. I don't know why I ran out of ammo so fast. As well. Oh god. Run! Gotta wait for my health to go up a bit. Everything uses stamina too, even your melee attacks. I love how they're just out of reach that kills me. It's like they can just not catch up when you're running. Well technically that's not running when I'm doing this. Like jogging. This is running. Like, you can outrun them by a lot, as long as you have stamina. I dropped some money that time. Like I said, you definitely don't want to die. Because if you die, you start all over again. That's when they will warn anyone that's thinking about buying this. I wish I knew that before I bought it. It's a fun game though, you just gotta try not to die. Because if you die, you lose everything. So I'm going to focus on health as much as I can. Then I'll upgrade all the other skills. I just hope I don't get up to where I was last time and just blow up like last time. Because I like to sneak behind you. upgrade my gun or fully buy ammo. Nope, don't have enough for that one either. I just love the look blank look on her face man. It's like uh. <laughs> like I said she wouldn't look half bad if she blinked once in a while. She don't even blink. You can tell this movie this game almost said movie. <laughs> This game is low budget, you can tell that.
if you like killing wave after wave after wave after zo wave after zombies, then it's good, but just be warned if you die once, you have to start all over again. They take everything too. They don't just take your ammo, they take your freaking upgrades, pretty much everything. So you gotta like put stuff into stuff that actually would be good. Like me, I'm going for health because health is much your life. Before I was like upgrading everything. I think this time I'm just gonna go for health. I don't know if I'd be able to outrun the zombies though because I don't have the same stamina I had last time. Oh, here we go. Next wave. I didn't even have enough to buy full ammo. Hi zombies. And you gotta remember when you see money to pick it up. I don't know if it stays there forever. See, they do sneak around. It's where that I think that's what happened with the exploder dudes. Wave seven and eight, and that's when you gotta start worrying about the acid dudes. These are the easy ones, they're just zombies basically. If I increase my health, I'm gonna go on health for now. You can outrun them. That's one thing I will say, you can outrun them. But eventually it starts sending out other kinds of zombies. Like you'll get ones that explode. These are just the normal low level zombies. I love that in video games, zombies that can run, that terrifies me man. Like even the last couple of Resident Evil, the zombies are like that, they can actually run. Hell man. I miss the old days when the zombies just went oh and ran like just fell at you, you know, fall on you. These zombies can run. do a little flip but it doesn't do much. You can also jump too. That doesn't do anything. I don't know why they even added it. Like how am I gonna jump? It didn't even take some stamina. Too bad you can jump up here. Oh god. I was gonna see if I could jump up there and then you could just shoot him. Nope. I'm not gonna let it be that easy. I think you'd say something more than just eh. Get the hell off me, zombie! <laughs> ah. Oh. And you can't melee with your weapon. You actually have to switch to the machete. <laughs> Die, zombie scum. 
Like I said, the game wouldn't be so bad if it was like, you can tell it's low budget. And they didn't punish you so bad when you die. I mean, making you start the game all over again, that's a pretty big punishment for dying once. I can't upgrade that. Both of them take two. Well, one takes three, actually. No stamina, that's a good thing. You can run longer. They give you more money, I would buy more stuff. You barely have enough money to replenish your gun. Okay. Let me show me how much ammo I had. Okay, I'm at 10. And I can't even fill it. Well, that time I filled up the gun all the way. I don't know if I should buy the shotgun, to tell you the honest truth. Don't have enough. So I'm gonna buy one of these. Doesn't matter, these things don't really do much. They mostly distract the zombies. What I've seen, that's all they do. They, like, the ones that shoot hurt the zombies, but the ones that, like, spikes, they just distract them. And then the zombies will like pound on them and they even blow up. You can place stuff in the world. Doesn't do much. Just wanna put them in random spots. Doesn't really matter, I don't have that many of them anyways. It distracts some of the zombies, that's all it really does. Well, here goes the next wave. I'll tell you, seven's when it gets hard, man. It starts getting hard. There they come. Man. I love how they just can't reach you. They just... Well, that one got me because I wasn't running. I think that's intentional, they made it like that. You gotta be careful when the exploding zombies come out too, because those ones will just kill you instantly. If they go near you, they blow up. There's no warning. Like they should have put like a beeper on them or something. You hear beep, 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 beep. Then you'd be like, oh my god, exploding zombie. Nope. No warning at all. They just blow up. So if you make them go near these, they will destroy them. It keeps them distracted. That's all it really does. Can't see anything. Shit went all right. As long as you keep an eye on your health. The only problem with your health, though, is like I said, if they explode, they just kill you instantly. Because there are exploding ones. They haven't come out yet. Okay. 
I didn't catch that. Oh, well, right now I'm getting attacked by a shit ton of zombies. parts are going to Wait your turn, zombie. I love when they got machetes and stuff. Some of them. This is only wave 5, like I said it gets a lot worse. Once the exploding zombies come out, I don't know if, how the hell you pass those. They just blow up, pretty much. Well, last time I got killed by one, it wasn't even near me. I mean, you can pretty much outrun them. You find your saved game, bro. Yeah, but I found out something bad. If you die, they just make you start over again. Literally, they make you start all over again if you die. I thought it was a glitch, but it's not a glitch. If you die once, even once, you start over again. From the very beginning, you lose all your perks, you lose everything. Health, everything. Everything you've unlocked. You literally can't die in this game. If you die, you're screwed. Like I said, you can tell this is low budget this game. I mean, the chick doesn't even blink. She doesn't blink at all. Like, she does not blink. Like I said, it's a fun game if you like waves, waves of zombies, but don't die. That's all I can tell you, because if you die once, you'll be probably shutting off the game. Because if you die, they make you start all over again. Like the whole oh God, entire sorry, game. Bro, don't die. I died once when I first started the game, and I thought that it was a glitch, but it's not a glitch. said you definitely don't want to die. I'm be afraid to use that. Blow myself up. <laughs> when I mean, you don't even have enough money to replenish all your ammo. 
Well, sometimes you do. Eventually you will die though in this game because like I said there's so many zombies it gets so hectic that you end up running out of ammo even and if you run out of ammo you have to fight them with your your knife and there's no way you're going to be able to kill them with a knife. All these do is really offer is a distraction for them. They run around and attack these and you can shoot them or slice them up with your knife when they're attacking these. They don't actually kill them, at least I don't think. Okay, well, here we go. I don't even know you can jump in this game, it doesn't really do anything. There's the ones that are acid. See, they do sneak behind you like that one just did. And the ones that explode don't even hit you once, they just blow up. So you go from being like perfectly healthy to dead. <laughs> as quick as that. That's what happens to me, the ones that explode. They will destroy those. You literally have to keep rotating the camera because they'll sneak behind you and hit you. The ones that explode don't even make a noise when they blow up. They just blow up and kill you. I was like, you think they'd beep or something? You know, like a bomb? Nope. See, most of them are destroying these freaking things. tripping over each other. There's so many zombies.
This is how the exploder ones get you because you end up running low on ammo. And you can't melee these things. No way. Unless they drop that. When they drop that, you can melee them. It gets a little hectic because the waves, it's like wave after wave after wave. The only problem is I don't have enough ammo to fight all of them. So you end up, that's why you gotta make the traps. But the problem is you don't have enough money to buy the traps. Because everything in this game costs you money in the game. So you have to go with whatever you got. Okay, three, two. L3 generation that's good. Need regeneration. Love the halo. Yup. It doesn't last long though. It just makes it so you Invincible for a few seconds. You can tell this is a low budget game, and it is. I'm pretty much where it was almost last time I died. I don't know, is that seven or eight? I'm at six. These don't really help much. <laughs> no. These things. All they do is distract them for not long. Just a few seconds. And I think I'm getting to the point where the exploding ones are going to come out. It's indeed. Flamethrower. doesn't matter where you put these really because it doesn't really stop them it just delays them because they will destroy them eventually okay, that's it here we go Sneaking around me, and there's not even that many out yet. Oh, they're coming now. Oh, 
Like I said, it's not a bad game, but it's cheap. That's the only reason I bought it. It was like super cheap. But I don't see you getting past wave 8 or 10. Like, because 8 is where I died, and that's when the exploder dudes come out. There's no way you can see all around you. That's the biggest problem. You can't see all around you. See, they, they'll sneak right up on you like that. When the exploders come out, that's when it gets really difficult. Because like I said, they don't even give you any warning, they just explode. One minute you'll be alive, and the next minute you'll be dead on the ground. That's pretty much what happened to me last time. have to like focus the camera all around you because they can sneak up on you from any angle because they come out of all these doors and the doors are always open when the wave's going so it's a good idea to have them all behind you that way they might not blow you up if the explorers come out I remember pain used to be the same Today. The explorers haven't come out yet. I think that was eight. That's wave eight, I think. Painkiller. Painkiller. I don't think I paid it. I don't think I played that. If it's a game, or are you just talking about painkillers? <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on my ammo too. That's another thing that gets scarce when you get a lot of your ammo. That blew up a lot of them. I think they would have dropped something. You think? Painkiller on PS3. Okay, I didn't play that. But I know. Mm, there's a lot. And yeah, I'm almost out of ammo again. Oh, you fucker. I think they'd be attacking this thing. Ah, that's right there. Okay. Now it's going to get really difficult because all I have is my handgun. And the handgun shoots so damn slow. Doesn't do much damage either, as you can see. They're not even dying. That's killing them slowly. 
That's the problem, is you can't focus on any specific zombie because there's like 50 of them. I think they'd attack this thing. There they go. Oh yeah, they spit acid at you too. You gotta keep away from them. The ones that are like lit up like that. Look like those ghouls from Fallout. That's what they look like. Okay. Hey, there's something back here. Hurry, 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 I miss it. Oh, give me some ammo. Used to be the same music color and gameplay. Okay. Well, you can tell somebody made this, not an actual company. Like, people made this game because it's low budget. It even kind of feels low budget. It's not a bad game, like I said, if you like waves of endless zombies. I killed them all, even though that was the wave that was before the wave I died on last time. Well, the next one is even harder there. That's when the uh, exploders come out. I said the game wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to start all over again when you die. That kind of sucks. Headshots. I wish I would have got that one before. Oh, it takes two. I don't have enough. Okay. I should buy an RPG or not? Probably don't have enough. I gotta buy ammo first. I need ammo definitely. And ammo is a lot. Hell, ammo is what takes all your damn money in this game. Don't even have enough to buy one. Stand game. Yeah. It's not a bad game, like I said. You just gotta try not to die, because if you die, you won't want to play it anymore. Because they basically take everything away from you when you die. Kind of makes it suck. And one there. Doesn't really matter where I put these, because they're not gonna do much. Not against these ones. These are the ones that have the exploder dudes. Oh, I'm out of everything. Oh, there goes that. Well, here we go. Time to die. Hopefully not. I'll keep an eye on them. I wish the exploders actually made a noise. Like the exploding zombies, they don't even make a noise. They just blow up on you. I 
And I don't actually know what... Oh, there they are. I saw that dude. He actually had a bomb on his freaking head. And the zombie had a bomb on his fucking head. He had a freaking bomb on his head. Now what they should have did with the ones that explode, they should have made it so when they blow up they take the other zombies with them. Doesn't make sense. trying to grab the ammo and die. <laughs> Same thing, I should take care of something. Problem is they can come out of any of these doors. So like, the exploders can just come after you pretty much. Getting a little distance. Oh god. Only problem is I don't have much stamina. Because I didn't upgrade my stamina. I should have. I mean, this chick would be so tired. I mean, you're pretty much running constantly. You wouldn't know do this in real life. If she had some grenades, that wouldn't be so bad. She has things on her hips, they look like grenades. She can't throw them, I already tried. Nothing does anything, none of the buttons do anything. And those bomb zombies come out random. Random. Which means they can come out at any time. I'm taking forever to kill him, but it's the only way to keep an eye on for the exploding zombies. 
because I turn my back too long, I'll get blown up by the exploders. It's gonna be worse when I run out of this gun ammo because the handgun shoots so damn slow. Oh god, didn't even see that guy. But then he wasn't an exploder. Basically this whole game, the whole time you're playing this, you're just staring at this chick's butt. <laughs> pretty much. Because you're always running, pretty much. was that time to die probably the handgun shoots too damn slow it kills them but it takes forever to do it you need some freaking grenades what you need from Fallout. If you've ever played Fallout before, any of the Fallout games have those ghouls. Oh god, there's a bomber dude in there, I've seen him. Wonder how fast he can move. I don't know how fast he can move, but he's in there, I've seen him. I don't know if he groups up with them, or is he running separate? I think he runs separate. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough handgun bullets to do this. Yeah, he's in the middle. Blows up. I probably know another one will probably come out. My luck will come out right beside me. That's what happened last time. I was running, fighting these dudes, and then one just spawned on my freaking head. I had no choice but to die pretty much. Because you're too busy watching the ones behind you not see the ones that are coming out of the doors in front of you, that's the only problem. And with a handgun it sucks because the thing shoots too slow. And that's the only gun I got. I'm not going to use the knife on these dude. there's too many of them. Oh god. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna take forever, I'll tell you. Especially with the handgun and nothing else. And pretty soon I won't even have a handgun. <laughs> It took a lot to blow up that dude with the bomb on his freaking head because I shot him. I'll tell you, this chick would be really tired out, man. That zombie flipped. Did a little slip. Like I said, she'd be freaking tired out. It only stops for a few seconds. Oh god. I haven't seen an explorer. Should be one coming soon. I don't know if there's only one further around. I don't know. I know they're hard to kill. Oh, that's another dude. Get the place. Look those other dudes I just killed. See, my biggest fear is I'm coming up here to the door where they come out, and that's when one of those big ones will come out. And just explode. So you wouldn't even have a chance to even get out of there. Yes. An endless supply of zombies. I mean, they should have made this a two player game. Seriously. You almost need multiple players. I mean, this is just wave eight. Like I said, this is only the eighth wave. I think, oh god, oh god, another one. Actually, there's two of them, oh god. So hard to shoot them too because they're so far away, and I'm shooting them with a handgun. Shit, he's almost dead. Of course, I have to reload because I only have like seven shots. I mean, my hands are actually starting to get tired. I've been constantly running. Doesn't help that I don't have a real gun. I'm using this crappy handgun. Jeez, how many bullets do you think take? And of course, now I can't shoot. There we go. No, another one will probably come out and take its place, because I think there was actually two. I think there was two. I'm actually missing them. I guess when she runs too much, her aim gets off. It's, it is not hitting anything. I'd help if I had some other ammo for the other gun. Freaking way that zombies are there in this wave, Jesus. Like, yeah, I understand my guns take forever to kill them, but it is still killing them. I'm actually out of ammo almost, I just realized that. And there's another exploder. I guess it does kill them. If you can hit them. What's the exploder, dude?
wait, it's almost done. Because there's only like two left. I can't believe I would eat that. Jeez. I'm almost free to see what the next wave will be like. I was only eight. Like wave eight. Jesus. I mean, I used every bullet I had, pretty much, in both guns. I don't even know if I'll even survive the next one, jeez. I should have just called this game Survivor. <laughs> because it's good luck surviving all this. And the things I want these that actually would give me health and stamina and stuff I can't buy that one needs two that one needs two I haven't even got up to electric zombies that's probably the next wave longer sprint I'm gonna try it Only problem is that wave was hard and I almost ran out of ammo. So the next one will be even harder. Definitely buying ammo. Jesus. I almost used every bullet I had in both guns. Problem is you don't get enough money to buy stuff. That's the problem. And the traps don't really do any damage to them, really. They do a little bit, but not much. I got two of those. Can't buy any of those. Five of those. Can't buy any of those. I just thought it'd be fun. I ran out of ammo on the last one, so I'll probably run out of ammo on this one. Even more, because there'll be more zombies, because it's a newer wave. Doesn't matter where you put these, really. They don't actually stop the zombies, they just slow them down. thought it'd be fun. The only problem is if I die I'll have to start all over again. If I die I'm probably done. I was done playing for today. <laughs> I've already had to start over again in this game. I don't really want to do it again. Well, we'll find out. Let's see how tough wave 9 is. That would be insane. Oh god, oh god. I'd like to take care of somebody. things with your traps they don't do enough. They don't cause enough damage. Yoink. Oh they're like spitting acid on the trap. Oh god it's got acid on me. I 
I just gotta keep an eye out for the exploders. And my uh, stamina keeps running out. Oh god. You can aim for their heads, but it's hard to hit that dude in the head. Just with this. Keep an eye out where I'm running because I can run right into one of those dudes. got a little roll. It doesn't do anything. Same with a jump. <laughs> it doesn't do nothing. That's why I'm stopping. I'm not stopping but slowing down to get my stamina up a bit. Then technically as long as you're moving. Yoink! <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. Looking for the dude with the exploding head. Zombie bastards. Whoa! Hold <laughs> me! <mean>, whoa! <laughs> Every time a zombie even comes near me, I'm thinking, "Is this the one that explode?" So those are the ones you actually have to worry about. Any of the other ones are just laughable, pretty much. I'm pretty much screwed because, like I said, the handgun takes forever. I mean, you spend the whole game, like I said, staring at this chick's ass pretty much. Boink. Get the money. I'm keeping an eye on the middle because that's where the big dudes come from. Usually. And I'm looking at my, I keep an eye on my stamina too. Can't run without your stamina. Uh oh, this gun's almost out of ammo.
Oh, those exploder dudes should be coming out soon. I'm keeping an eye out. I got handgun ammo because I picked up that ammo box. I thought it was machine gun ammo, but I'm surprised one of those big dudes doesn't come out. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough ammo to kill all these dudes. Let's still give me some actual ammo. Let's check the middle. Oh, the big dudes. Like I said, if I die in this round, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> because I'd have to start all over again, that would suck. At least for now, if I die. Try not to. Those exploders all are taking one to sneak up on you. The rounds are getting a lot freaking harder, I noticed. And I don't have ammo to kill these freaking zombies, that's the problem. I'm gonna be out of ammo on this damn gun. They just don't give you enough cash when you kill these. Oh, let's see that dude. I think it wasn't an exploder. They don't give you enough cash, that's the problem, you kill these dudes. There's no way you're gonna be able to like, upgrade everything. And my arm is actually getting tired. <laughs> like continuously like pushing up, running. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's about it. It's 
thought he said pretty much when he came back. Blech. Oh, that dude is just all gonna die. Jeez, the zombies take forever to die. It's hard to aim for their head too, because you gotta walk backwards. You're constantly walking backwards. So you're constantly moving. Too hard to aim for the frickin' heads. Saw that fat zombie, I thought it was an exploder. Just a fat zombie. Three weeks later. This is where a grenade would come in handy. Considering they're all grouped up like that. But, don't have a grenade. Even though she has grenades on the side of her hip, you can't use them. They're just there for show, I think. Like I said, I think they're just there for show. Those grenades. I mean, this chick would be like dead tired. Oh shit. Look at they don't actually grab you in this game. Like in Resident Evil, they grab you. Physically grab you. That zombie looked like he was about to. I said this wouldn't be so bad. I had more ammo. Headshot of him. I have shot him in the head before. Usually they don't blow up like that. So yeah, I shot him in the head. Oh god. I'm trying to aim for their heads, but it's so far away you can't aim with the crap. Oh god. I heard it. I'm like, oh god. That's a zombie. I'm gonna be freaking out of ammo soon. I'm dead. That's all I can say. I'm dead. What am I gonna do when I run out of ammo? Which is about to happen in a few seconds. these things with a frickin' knife. There's too many of them. I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's been nice. I got no ammo in any of my guns. That many zombies hitting you too, it'll take your health away so fast. Cause there's like 50 zombies. And there's no way I could use the knife on the exploding zombie. No. There's no way you'd be able to kill him. And they just keep coming. No, oh, there's more coming now. Yeah, I'm dead. I mean, 
and all I have is my knife. And they're not dropping any uh, ammo. You think the developers would drop ammo when you're out of ammo? You guys that made this game. So how are you supposed to fight these dudes? You got no freaking ammo. The knife isn't doing enough damage to me. Not cutting it. Literally cutting it. <laughs> There's too many of them. Hey, you're gonna die soon. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, I didn't even get up to wave 10. be so dead in real life. If this was Resident Evil game, you'd be freaking dead. With this many zombies chasing you, because they just launch on you. Ah. <sighs> oh god. Oh no. You think your health would, I mean your ammo would regenerate over time? You think? Or they'd give you ammo or some damn thing. I mean, I got no freaking ammo. How am I supposed to do this? Like this? That takes too long. And they just keep coming too. I'll kill a couple and then like two more will come out. I'm waiting for one of the exploded ones to come out. If that happens, I'm pretty much dead. Can't kill it. Don't have any weapons with it. This takes forever to kill him. You gotta make sure your stamina is up too because that zombie went flying. I think they pushed him out of the way. He was dead and they just pushed him out of the way. Hey, I'm gonna die. Hmm. Like jump does anything. Like I said, I really wish he had some grenades. Freeze! I got no weapons! No ammo! Okay. Camera went up the butt. Like I said, if an exploder came out right now, I'd be so dead. Because there's no way to fight it. Even if I did kill all these dudes, there'd be no way to kill him. He tripped. <laughs> It tells you how many zombies you got left. That's cool. It does tell you up there. It says four. The only problem is I don't have any other ammo, so I have to like slice them and run. Oh shit, they dropped something. Halo. Perfect. I am the angel of death. Literally. <laughs> Unless you have the halo. So the only problem is there's no way I'd be able to survive wave ten. Because like I said, I ran out of ammo about halfway through that round. Well, I'll go buy more ammo. Try again. I'll basically keep playing until I die. I don't know how anybody can get past round 10 though, because you run out of freaking ammo. 
and they don't give you enough of these things. You get one skill point for every level, which kind of sucks because it's only one skill point. Most of the things need two once you upgrade them. I haven't even fighted any dudes with electricity yet. That one takes two. Most of them take two. Add armor points. You need two. <laughs> like I said, you need two. I only have one. <laughs> That's damage from bombers. Bombers kill you instantly. And that one takes two. Less damage. I mean, less loss of stamina for roll. What's this do? Oh, you stay, you stay invisible, in, invincible longer, I guess. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna have enough money to buy any ammo. All the ammo I need. Fill up the two guns I was using. I mean, it takes so much money just to fill up your ammo. It's ridiculous. I would buy another gun, but those things do cause damage. These things that you put in the room, they do kill them. Not completely, but they hurt them. Don't buy anything. The problem is they don't give you enough money when you beat around. I mean, if you got more money, you could buy all of these, and they would actually help you kill the zombies a little better. They don't give you enough money. Oh. Time to die. This is going to be a one I probably will about to beat. How oh, hard nine was. I mean, I was killing with my sword or my knife. I was shitty. I didn't even have any damn ammo. Well. I'll try it. Like I said, if they kill me, I'm done. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to... I don't want to play this all over again from the very beginning. That sucks. That's the only downside about this game. It's a good game, but if you die, you have to start all over again. That makes it suck right there. I don't even have enough to block all the exits. <laughs> nope. One that's wide. Two that are wide open. Yep. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Time to start running. See what you can go behind this door before it closed. There's a big one. Look how tall he is. That dude is like a huge zombie.
I mean, they got a really tall zombie. I don't know what he does. He's a really tall zombie. Looks like he just runs at you like the other ones do. It looks like he might be a little faster. Probably harder to kill. He's bigger. Oh god. Took the fight to him. Doesn't matter on this round, I'm gonna run out of ammo way before I kill him all. Hello, puking zombie. How you doing? Besides, those things that I put in the middle of the room, they've already destroyed all of them. I put two fire pits in there now, too, and I destroyed those of them. Kitchen's closed, zombies. <laughs> Sixty four zombies. You think that zombie would have dropped something? It would have been nice because he was by himself. It would have been perfect. Time to pick something up. As long as they give you enough ammo, you can actually do this. But it's not fair because they don't give you enough ammo. That's the problem. You're gonna run out of ammo, and once that happens, you're pretty much screwed. Like what happened to me last time. Got me some acid, but I'm still alive. Oh, there goes that. Oh, yeah. That was fast, too. But really fast. This handgun shoots so damn slow. He would have killed all of those zombies, but he didn't blow up. Now he can't shoot him because he's so far back there. Zombies. <laughs> he can run faster, I think. Looks like a little, a little tougher too. <sighs> I 
46. At least I know how many zombies there is. Even though it's going to take forever to kill 45 zombies with this thing. Forty-four. Now you think every zombie would drop something. The drop rate's too low, that's the problem. If they dropped ammo or health, you'd actually be able to survive this. But most of the zombies I kill drop nothing. I literally drop nothing. Like, I know in the beginning of the round they were dropping stuff like crazy, but now they drop nothing. Ugh. I got 500 zombies killed. Jesus. <laughs> 500 zombies. <laughs> There's a trophy you get like for like five thousand, like zo like a thousand zombies or something. Jesus. 41 left. later. shooting him. Put in the bomb. I was shooting his bomb. He didn't blow up. And I shot the damn bomb on his freaking head. And he didn't even explode. Oh god. other. When the one's dead, they'll just stomp all over them. So I'm being trampled. <laughs> I'm dead. I can jump. Which does nothing. I love how they trample each other. I 
I love how they got like knives and sword, like almost said swords. Let's say like knives and machetes and stuff. You're not zombies in the sand. Okay. Whoa. aim when you're walking backwards. Seriously, it's actually hard to aim. 21. The only problem is the exploder ones come out. I'm screwed if I run out of ammo because you can't get near those guys. You can't melee them. Start ammo again. Twenty left. I mean, there's a big dude. I'm seeing the last bullets for him. Like they're all still alive. Oh, that sucks. So it's like to be screwed over. <laughs> Literally. I mean, if they give you frickin' ammo, that's the problem. Oh god, there's an exploder. I'm dead. I can't kill him. I thought I could make him blow up, but without being near me, that would be nice. I got some money. Money ain't what I need. I need some freaking ammo. <laughs> I mean, there's only 15 left, but one of them is an explorer. There's no way she's gonna be able to kill him with a knife. I'm killing him. Slowly. But, like I said, the exploder one is going to be a tricky, because I don't think even hit him. It's probably gonna have him blow them up. They should have put a timer on them or something. When you get near them, they beep. And then, you know, you could run away and you're not die. Ugh. I'd help if you had some frickin' ammo. Any ammo would be nice. See the explorer, that's what I'm worried about. I don't even see the dude that explodes. I knew he was in there, because I didn't blow him up. There he is. The only problem is there's no way I can kill him. I can kill these guys, technically. I'm killing them by hitting them. But. The uh, exploder, you're gonna have to get near him to mail him, and if you mail him, he'll blow up and you're dead. So. Ah! Yeah. My head! That's about it. You think they dropped some freaking ammo, man? Come on. Especially the ones you're killing, because I am technically killing some of them. Nope, no ammo. Not like I don't need it or anything. Did he drop anything? 
Nope. There's the Exploder. If they didn't blow up instantly, like there was like a timer on them or something, then you could actually, you know, have them blow up when they're near the dudes and kill a bunch of these dudes. That doesn't work like that. You zombie best. You gotta be quick, you melee, then you jump out of there. They still hit you, but not that much. Besides, your health regenerates in this game. The only one I really have to worry about is the Exploder, dude. Because he hit me once and probably blow up. Even though I have one of those perks on him, you're not supposed to take as much damage from the Exploder, dude. But you know it's still gonna blow me up, probably. Oh, they're like tripling over, tripping over the dude. I don't know how you'd kill that one dude. The bomb on his head without any ammo. There's no way you could. You can't get near him. But these guys, I am killing them by mailing them. It's slow, but only thing I can do. They're dead. Problem is I can't kill him. Now if there was a timer on him, like when you got near him then he exploded. Because I know if he blows me up he's probably going to kill me. find out. Literally. I think he touches you then he blows up. So technically you don't blow up till he touches you. So if I hit him, he's gonna blow up. Yeah, he doesn't blow up till he probably comes in contact with you. I don't know, because the last guy that blew up, I didn't even see him. He just blew me up. So he must have touched me or got near me. Well, there's only one way to kill this guy. Let's mail him, and I'm gonna probably die. Because there's no other way to kill him, because these developers that made this game don't feel that you need ammo. <laughs> like, there's literally nothing I can use in here to kill this dude. Like, there's nothing I can use to kill him. There's only one way to find out. Mail him and see if I die. I didn't die. I almost did. Jesus. I had five on my health. Five. It took that much on my health. I had five left. Jesus. I can't believe that. He took that much damage. I had five. <laughs> and my health's still regenerating. The only problem is there's nothing I can upgrade, but I'll take more than one. Let me get that one. Less stamina on rolls when I roll. I don't know if I'll be able to survive the next round. Holy shit. I mean, my health, he, it was like down to five when he blew up. 
Do you think if you upgraded these damn guns, they'd give it, like make it so it holds more ammo or something? Yeah. I think it upgrades the damage on them, but they don't hold any more ammo. This thing only holds seven bullets. I mean, the ammo uses all your money, man, just to buy freaking ammo. These things, they don't do enough damage to even bother with. I was able to get two of those. Hey, I just got another trophy. I just got two trophies. One for killing 500 zombies, and the other one for spending a certain amount of money in the game. I just uploaded my trophies. Okay, let's see if I can go get killed. <laughs> I can't believe that dude. He only, he blew up and I had five health left. Five. So if there were two of those dudes, I would be dead. Like dead. Yeah, I had enough ammo, like, you know, killing them with the frickin' machete was working on just the normal zombies. But you wouldn't be able to take out two of those big dudes. Like, you'd be screwed. So basically you just spend your whole time playing this game staring at her butt when you're running around, pretty much. Like I said, they should have added like, I don't know, different outfits or something. Made her so she blinks. Because <laughs> he doesn't blink at all. Like, at all. I'm going to put these near the edge of the exits. Not right near them, but near them enough. I don't have enough to fill all of them, so I'll put them in some of them. I have two of each, basically. I don't even know if these are even going to do much. Especially on this wave, because the last wave was tough, so this one will be even more zombies. So there's one, a two exits that... Ah, I just got another trophy. Two exits that aren't even got any protection at all. I might as well update my trophy and then I'll get killed pretty much. Because this is like, that last wave was almost freaking impossible. I mean I ran out of ammo like halfway through it. Like freaking halfway through I was out of ammo. That takes less health, I mean less stamina when I do the little roll thing upgraded. Still takes a good chunk of stamina, but not all of it. Like last time, that took almost all my stamina. Hey, okay, here we go. This is wave 11, let's see how bad this one is. This is. Oh my god, there's already a bomb dude. There's 104? Jeez. actually hit the zombies. Oh god, another exploder. Oh, oh shit! They're all over me there. Literally. I 
got him when I lost him. Holy shit, they took that much health. Damn. He didn't even hit me that much. I only got hit like twice. I gotta wait for my health to get up. Health's going up. You're <laughs> freaking slow. Come on, regenerate. You're supposed to be like Wolverine. Heal yourself. Look at all those zombies, man. Like I said, you can definitely in indefinite outrun them. That's not the problem, though. There's so many of them that you know it takes forever to kill them all. And they like to spawn right behind you. That's why I'm keeping an eye out for those exploder dudes. They don't give you enough stuff either from the drops that many kill you do. Like if they drop ammo and stuff, you wouldn't have any problem killing them. It's just they don't drop enough. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That guy drops some of them. That's what I thought he did. I'm not seeing them. Uh, what, do they disappear right after they drop it? I thought I saw some on the ground. It might have been their corpse. Sometimes their corpse looks like, all funky. So long to kill him with a handgun. I love how they triple. Whoa, oh shit! I was just say I love how they triple over each other. Kill me. Whoa. Pay attention. Let's see. Put your ass in. aiming for their heads but sometimes you get headshots and other times it just shoots them in the head and nothing happens like I've seen their heads explode sometimes not often well, I'm shooting them in the freaking head some of them they like said sometimes their heads explode it's not nothing at all 64 
Oh god. Oh god. I gotta kill that dude. Oh god, there's two of them. Body chunks are like flying at me. Oh, God. I haven't even seen any electrical zombies. They were talking about electrical zombies. I haven't seen any electrical zombies. Not the acid ones, the ones that explode. Hard to hit these dudes. Which one you made? Fifty five. They come out one of the doors. You gotta keep an eye on them too, because they'll just spawn right on your freaking head. The normal zombies are alright if they spawn on your head, because you just wanna buy those guys. The bomber dudes will just explode and almost kill you, or will kill you. That's why you can't let them kill you. You pretty much have one life in this game. It's like real life, pretty much. You die. They're all over the room. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Unlike most games, just respawn. Let's go. Especially when I'm walking back. How fast is on these rules? I just love how they trample each other when they're dead. Oh shit. I'm gonna be out of frickin' ammo again. Zombie. Oh, 
problem is they only have seven bullets, you gotta constantly reload. I still don't understand, oh god, why they added the little roll in this game. Doesn't do much. Like I said, it doesn't help that they don't give you any frickin' ammo here in this game either. You'll kill dudes if you get no ammo for it. Hello, Paul Zombie. Just out of reach that kills me every time. Uh, I think I might take a break after this round. As long as you don't die, you don't lose your wave where you're at. Next time you play you'll be on whatever wave you're on. If you don't die. If you die, it makes you start all over again. That kind of sucks. Like I said, I think I'm gonna take a break after this one. If I can beat this one.
Oh my god, too many now. It'll upgrade some stuff. I think I'm gonna take a break. Hey, damn. I'm gonna use the knife a lot. <laughs> There's only one thing that required one. I don't know what it means discount on repairs. I've never had to repair anything that I know of. Like I said, I've never had to repair anything. Can't buy nothing. There's a box here, I don't know. Maybe you get this at the end and you beat it. I can't open it right now. That's what's using all my money. I said that's what's using all my money. Hey, this time I was able to get three of these. Two of these and three of those. Okay, well I'm gonna take a break. Up and exhausted playing this. <laughs> My hands freaking going to sleep. <laughs> just keep running in a circle. But I will be playing again later. Hopefully, I don't die because, like I said, if you die, you gotta start all over again. That kind of sucks. Like I said, it's not a bad game. You just gotta make sure you put everything to health and stamina and stuff so you can stay alive longer, take more hits. Because you do run out of ammo in this one a lot. Okay, just quit and it should be where I am tomorrow. The only reason it didn't save, it did save my game last time, but I think if you die, like I was saying before, if you die it makes you start all over again, so you just can't die. You gotta try to stay alive. And that's what happened. Like I said, it's not a bad game, it's cheap. I got it for like 8 bucks. So it's not that much money. If you like killing zombies, it's good. 